It's Mrs. Pelletier again, and today, now I'm going to read another story by Mo Willems, and it's called Knuffle Bunny 2. So, and it's, and it, part of the uh, title says, A Case of Mistaken Identity. Mistaken identity means someone mistakes someone for someone else. So that's what happens in this book. And again, this book got a Caldecott Award for all of the illustrations. There's Trixie, but in this story, Trixie's a little bit older. She has Knuffle Bunny, and Trixie is going to bring Knuffle Bunny to school. We're going to read this to find out what happens. And again, look at the illustrations on the inside. Very first part of the book. There's another clue about what's going to happen. Take a good look. I'm not going to tell you what the clue is, but there are two Knuffle Bunnies. Okay, and again, they, he gives you a series of pictures. They're getting married. They had Trixie. They're walking with Trixie, the laundromat. And now she's a little bit older. And you can tell she's a little bit older because she's taller and she's got hair. <laughs> Over here, she didn't really have much. Knuffle Bunny 2, A Case of Mistaken Identity. One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. So see, here's more speech bubbles. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'll show Meg, and then I'll show Margo, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and I'll show Robbie, and I'll show Toshi, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and, and talk and talk and talk. Wow, she's telling her daddy all of her friends that she wants to show Knuffle Bunny to. Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on! And you can see he's carrying her lunchbox. They are on their way to school. So see here, almost like cartoons again, he gives you, they're walking up the stairs, see, they're in the hallway, and now they're walking right into her classroom, and she gets to share Knuffle Bunny. I'm sure sometimes when you've been at school, you've been able to maybe bring some things for show and tell or something. Trixie couldn't wait to show Knuffle Bunny to Mrs. Greengrove and all her friends in pre-K. So she's in preschool right now. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. Sonia is another girl in her class. Look at her face right now. What is that telling you? Hmm. Talk to the person next to you. What do you think she's feeling? It's kind of looking like, hmm, she's a little worried. She sees something that she didn't expect to see. <gasps> what does Sonia have? She has a Knuffle Bunny, too. And I think that Trixie thought she was the only one that had Knuffle Bunny. And look at that. They go, they show Sonia, they show her closer and closer. This is what Trixie is focusing on. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore. So see, she's a little sad right now. She thought she had the only one. And now this girl, Sonia, has one too. Hmm. I wonder, what do you think is going to happen? Think about this. Let's predict what you think is going to happen. And now I'll turn the page and we'll see what happens. <gasps> Look at their faces. The morning did not go well. Hmm. Look at Sonia's showing all her friends and everybody's watching. And look at how, how Trixie feels. She must feel a little bit left out, like nobody's paying attention to her. And now Trixie's saying, knuffle, knuffle. And Sonia's saying, nuffle, nuffle. So she calls her bunny nuffle, and she calls knuffle bunny knuffle. The afternoon was worse. So look at the teacher is seeing all of this happen. And why do you think she does that? She's taking away Knuffle Bunny and Nuffle Bunny. See, she didn't want them to fight anymore, so she took them away. 
and look at their way up on the top of the shelf. When the school bell rang, Mrs. Greengrove returned the Knuffle Bunnies, or the Nuffle Bunnies, I don't know what you want to call them. <laughs> so she returns them, and the day got better. They went outside on the playground. The moms are watching. And then before she knew it, it was time to go home. So look at, she even put Knuffle Bunny in the swing, and now she's going home with her mom. And Trixie ate her dinner. Doesn't really look like she's eating much. <laughs> she devoured her dessert. So she's kind of picking at her dinner. You know how sometimes maybe she didn't really like it? If she devoured her dessert, that means she ate every single bite. And then she brushed her teeth. Hmm. So she has her knuffle bunny. Let's see what happens. And tried to escape the mummy and daddy robots from Planet Snurp. Before they go to bed, they always play a little game with her and they, are, they pretend to be robots and she runs away. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready for sleep, and she's got Knuffle Bunny. Hmm, what do you think is gonna happen? But a few hours later, okay, she's sleeping, she's sleeping, sleeping. Trixie realized something. <gasps> Same words as the first book that we read in Knuffle Bunny. And it's something big, big letters, so she realized something. What do you think she realized? Let's see. Let's see if you're right. Think what you think she realized, and then I'll turn the page, and we'll see if you are right. Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, what do you think she's going to say? Because look at how she's holding that Knuffle Bunny. Do you think that that's hers? She looks at her daddy and her mommy in bed and she says, that is not my bunny. Whose bunny do you think it is? I think the teacher might have mixed them up and gave them to the wrong, gave her the wrong Knuffle bunny and gave Sonia the other one. Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. means. So this is 2.30 in the morning and she's really upset. He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? And again, that means if, if dad asks, can we deal with this in the morning, that means, can we take care of this in the morning? Can we s swap the knuffle bunny and knuffle bunny later, not now, in the middle of the night? So he's smiling, but look at her eyes. And now mom's kind of looking like, mm, I think we got to deal with this now. So what do you think happens? Trixie's daddy went to the phone. And again, I want you to predict who do you think he's gonna call? But even before he even made it down the stairs, <gasps> bring the phone rang. So this is what we call a house, law, house uh, a landline, <laughs> okay? Not a cell phone, but the, cell, the phone rang. We have your bunny. And a man's voice was on the other end. We have your bunny. So who do, you, who do you think the man was on the other end of that phone? Could it be Sonia's dad? So look, he looked up at the, nuff, the Nuffle Bunny he has, and he replied, he said, we have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arrangements were made. So that means they're probably talking about where they're going to meet to swap the bunnies. They have to switch them now, right? Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. So look at this, this is in the middle of the night. Still in this, their pajamas. Trixie did not want to be late. Neither did Sonia. <clears throat> so look at them. It's the big city. There was an exchange. There's Sonia, <clears throat> there's Trixie, and there are the, there's Knuffle Bunny and Nuffle Bunny. And the Nuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. So see, if you look carefully, <coughs> Trixie has, her Knuffle Bunny has blue ears and Sonia's has pink ears. So there is a difference, but it's hard to tell. 
I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. And then they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back at the exact same time. And look at how Mo Willems does that. He has them a big speech bubble above their head, and each one of them said the same thing at the same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. And then down here it says, Knuffle Bunny accept accepted, of course. So, of course, Knuffle Bunny was her first, first best friend, but this is like her first girl best friend. The end. And then they have two Knuffle Bunnies draw, drawn on the, on the sidewalk. And this is what we call an epilogue. This means this is a story after. Okay? And here you see Trixie and her dad walking to school. Sonia and her dad walking to school with the Knuffle Bunnies. The next morning, both Trixie and Sonia rushed to school. The new best friends had a lot of catching up to do. And Trixie's saying, do you want to play with my Knuffle Bunny? And then Sonia says, sure, do you want to play with mine? Look at the dad's faces. Why do you think they look like that? They don't look like they're too happy that they're going to play with their Knuffle Bunnies again. Why do you think they're not too happy? Talk to the person next to you. Do you think that they're afraid that the same thing's going to happen? They're going to mix them up? It could be. So, again, this is, this is kind of a neat story to show how sometimes friendships grow. <laughs> Even though at first they were not too happy with each other, they ended up being best friends, didn't they? Okay, so, and look at this. On the back, he puts another picture of Knuffle Bunnies and the Knuffle Bunny. And do you remember that clue that he gave in the beginning? If you look carefully, you see the difference, the blue ears versus the pink ears. That was something I didn't notice until I had read most of the book. Okay, so Mo Willems is so, so clever. So let's again, we talked a lot about what we've noticed in the second book by Mo Willems. Um, he used a combination of photographs and cartoons again. He also used speech, uses speech bubbles sometimes. He likes to use those. And he definitely adds details to his characters' faces to show how they're feeling. He did that a lot in this book again. So it's something you can think about when you look, when you go to draw your characters for your books. And you know, even look at the dad's eyes. He put those little lines underneath to show it's in the middle of the night. He's not really wide awake. So one of the things that you can do at home is, and I didn't stick them on a piece of uh, a ruler or anything this time, but you could make your own puppets. I made a Knuffle Bunny and I made Trixie and at the very end I'm going to show you how you can look carefully at the shapes to make these characters. His characters are really easy to make so to make these um, puppets at home would be really fun and then you could act out the story with your mom and dad or whoever you're home with. Maybe your grandparents or your cousins or whoever. Okay I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed Kind of awful bunny too.